Friends, this is Dean Julia again from Trinity Cathedral in the heart of downtown San Jose with another short take this week for your prayer about Mary, the mother of Jesus. This week, this coming week, the Episcopal Church celebrates the Feast of St. Mary. Now, in the inclusive way that our church often does, we affirm both Catholic and Protestant understandings to honor the mother of our Lord. If you are one who knows her as companion or intercessor, that's fine. If like me, you weren't shaped by a community of prayer to Mary, you might consider anew how she enriches your spiritual life. A friend recently reminded me that every celebration of St. Mary is a celebration of the incarnation. That is, we would not have God with us in human form if Jesus did not have a mother. The implications of this understanding startle and humble me. All of the labor of mothering, the tenderness, the worry, the fear, sorrow, and joy of Mary are how Jesus himself learned of the human condition. That is to say he was birthed in love, but always conscious of the vulnerability of humanity. Our very vulnerability is thereby made holy. Our relationships with God do not depend on our strength, our success, or even our faithful response to a hard call, like the one the angel Gabriel um, gave to Mary, and she answered. For she, she has already done the work of allowing God to dwell among us and as one of us. The incarnation of Jesus, the fulfillment of God's deepest longing to be close to his creation, that is Mary's gift to all of us. I'll spend this coming week giving thanks for the blessings of a mother.